Hello everyone, I am Kenneth and today I will be making my fish and pasta dish. So just like before, same rules apply. Ang aking, ang aking dish na prepare is something that I'm not really familiar with. And the second one is to be cost efficient or I will be using ingredients that I can find in, in our home. So I have everything here prepared and now let's get started. For our ingredients, we will be using the following. One can of tuna, one can of mackerel, evaporated milk, onion and garlic, cream of mushroom. I'm only using powder since I can't find any in can. Iodized salt, black pepper, mushroom, coriander mint and I'm going to use linguine as my pasta because it has more surface compared to spaghetti I have everything ready now let's get started for our pasta in a hot pot of boiling water we are going to add a generous amount of salt the salt will help our water temperature to go higher Next is to put our pasta. I am cooking my pasta based on the manufacturer's instruction 12 to 15 minutes. We are going to check our pasta and once it is al dente, remove it from heat and drain. Put the pasta on a top running water to prevent further more cooking. I'm not adding oil on my pasta because it will prevent the sauce to stick on our pasta based on my research. For the sauce of our creamy tuna carbonara, we are going to saute our onion, garlic, and mushroom. And I am using the oil from the can. Once we finish sautéing our mushroom, onion, and garlic, we are going to add our can of tuna. After that, we are going to add our evaporated milk. After adding our evaporated milk, we will also add our cream of mushroom. I dissolve my cream of mushroom powder on a hot water before I put it to avoid having lumps. Bring the sauce into simmer and let it reduce for 5 to 10 minutes. Once the sauce fully coats the back of our spoon, it's ready to go. While I am plating, I am gonna tell the reason why I choose carbonara. Personally, I prefer spaghetti than carbonara because I am lactose intolerant. So this is my first time trying to make a carbonara. I've done my research and I think this is pretty easy. And when I eat it, it tastes delicious.
for our mackerel sardines pasta, first, in a hot pan, we are going to add the oil from the can. Once the oil is hot, we are going to saute our onion and garlic. After that, we are going to put our mushrooms. After that, we are going to put the other half of our oil. The oil from the can will be the only flavor that we are going to use for the sauce of our pasta. And once our mushroom is ready, we are going to put our mackerel. I removed the bones in the middle before I add it in. And once our oil has reduced a little, we are going to add in our pasta. After we add in our pasta, we are going to add our mint. The mint will give a fresh flavor on this pasta. It will counterbalance the fishy taste of the sardines. After that, we are going to season our pasta. We are going to put ajinomoto, salt, and pepper. And there we have it, our mackerel sardines pasta. While I am plating, I'm gonna tell the reason why I choose this dish. First, sardines is the most convenient product that we can find in every household. The second one is, I never cook sardines because I don't like it. Please don't get me wrong na nag-i-inerte ako dahil di ako kumakain ng sardinas. Pero ayoko lang talaga ng lasa ng sardinas. When I tasted this dish, I don't really like it but the mint really works as a refreshener because every time you eat the mint with the sardines, it gives you a refreshing flavor and my mom who is a fan of eating sardines she actually liked it a lot and there you have it my mackerel sardines pasta